All right, guys, beautiful day here at Crandon Park in Key Biscayne, and we're meeting up with Mo and his team from Streamline Boats to check out the latest 45 to come out of the company with a full gap tower. Let's go check it out. Right, so I'm gonna start off with the engines. We got quad 450Rs by Mercury Racing, pushing this boat close to 74 miles an hour. Now this is a big boat, 45 feet, 13 foot beam, gap tower. There's a lot of weight to push around, but you don't want anything else than that right there to do it. Now this boat is not 100% complete yet, but we got an early look at it. Check out the size of the bilge, all completely finished. Sea chest, easy access to everything, and then it doubles up as some storage also. You got live wells port to starboard. And they actually offer a retractable seat right here for those that are interested. This boat is not taking it. They're actually gonna put gaff holders back here to do fish, some fishing out in uh, Puerto Rico is where this thing's headed. So these boats are known to be able to fish hard, but also entertain friends and family. So you can see right here, you got a sink, tackle storage underneath here. More storage throughout here. I'm not gonna open every single one of them. You can see you got a drink dispenser, bottle holder underneath, got your cooler here. Obviously, if you look up, you got your full tower, small Garmin MFD there, so those in the cockpit can see what's going on. Very nice rig, oversized hard top. You got a panoramic sunroof that I believe opens up up there, right? Sure does. Uh, JL Audio M6 speakers up top and recessed down below. Check this out. They don't just install them, they recess them in, so you're not knocking your, your legs on this if you're fishing. Definitely makes a difference if you've been out there and, and experienced that. Got a nice side door over here. Let me see if I can open up one of these. Let me jump on the other side. Got your fenders in there, but you can see the size of this thing. It's absolutely massive. It's gotta be every bit of six, seven feet at least insulated. Check out this addition that they put in. Two steps right on the side of the leaning post. Step up there. Makes it real easy to climb up. You got plenty of rod storage right here. And I'll work our way up into the second station. So just check out the view from up here. This is absolutely incredible. You got your Garmin MFD, your throttles, starts and stops. You can do everything you need up here. And you turn around, got a nice seat to sit back, relax, and then check out the visibility to your anglers right there in the cockpit from up here. Absolute perfection. All right, so you can see I'm up in the gap tower and we're a good ways up for a center console. I mean, the visibility from here is phenomenal. This boat is extremely stable due to that wide beam and it's really comfortable if you just wanna sit back and roll from up here. Just enjoy the view if someone's driving downstairs or take the wheel from up here and captain the boat from the second station. Taking a look at the console here, the 45 Streamline, you got 24 inch Garmin MFDs recessed in a really nice acrylic here. Your Mercury Marine vessel view, fusion head unit, Start and stop, push button, bow thruster, mercury throttle, cop, cup holders, your Optimus unit, full switch panel right here integrated into it. You got a little cubby for your wallet, phone, and things of that nature. And you're encased in this full enclosure, which is extremely comfortable, whether it's wet, raining, windy, whatever it may be, JL Audio speakers throughout, a panoramic sunroof that opens up if you want to get a little bit of sunlight. And then you got really nice captain's chairs right here that are adjustable and you even have a step up down there for the vertically inclined. Now let's take a look into the console cabin. Pop this open, it goes towards the bow, still leaving you a lot of space to be able to walk through on either side, which is nice. And just check out the size of this thing. Absolutely massive for a 45 center console. Full berth, you got your refrigerator, a little galley area here, private head and shower. You pop this open, you got you know fuse box, battery switches, ignition switches, everything else 
conveniently placed right here. So as you can see, all the way port and starboard of this boat, they added a tremendous amount of storage. Check out the size of these boxes. You see this sort of thing more on catamarans than you do on monohulls, but they definitely maximize the storage space here on the 45. Let's work our way up to the bow. Take a look at this lounger. Oh, really comfortable. You can fit three, four people on this thing. Absolutely no problem. Now this model in particular has the extra cabin space so you don't have a cooler here, but I believe it is an option that you can switch out. Nice forward fish box here, storage, and then just check out the dance floor you have here towards the bow. Whether you're entertaining friends and family or fishing in this area, you can do just about anything you want on a boat that is capable of getting through just about anything you throw at it. So excellent job by Streamline on the 45 footer. The tower is spectacular. Hopefully you guys get to see this one in person before it makes it over to Puerto Rico. If not, you got to see it here at Center Console. That, that thing can ride out in rough seas. Everyone always complains that the seas we call out are not true, but I mean, what would you call that? Realistic. Realistic, you know, let's say three to four. Um, we're doing 60 plus through that, uh, trying to capture what we could on film. Hope, hope you guys enjoy that through the YouTube video and all that translates. So, badass boat. Thanks for the guys for having us as usual. Much more coming soon here at Center Console.